that truck contained everything me and my family owned, including the urn that has the majority of my firstborn son's cremation's ashes in it. If anybody wants that truck, it's me. Real life. So, Jack, people are going to ask, um, yeah. grand larceny, there was yeah. a there was a reward for your fine. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. Siri, mm -hmm. can you please tell me what grand larceny is? Here's some information. Crime involving the unlawful taking of personal property or other person or business. Larceny is a crime involving the unlawful taking or theft of personal property or another person or business. So Thanks, mind Google. You, mind you, and we got lawyers about to handle all this, but with that yeah. being said, there's stories of a U-Haul truck. Let's make this very clear. There was never a U-Haul truck. I live in Texas. I use Penske. Shout out the plug. Number two, I rented that truck and I paid for it. I was supposed to be returning it the day after I got arrested, but I was in jail in Bossier, Louisiana, because my bond had been broken and I had been made as fugitive because of Genesis, a.k.a. DJ Buttnecket, a.k.a. DJ Peter Griffith, AKA government name Monica Lockett, AKA baby mom of great rapper who you annoyed to death. My friend, Baten. Fucking groupie. Now, crack is a hell of a drug. Make you miss all kinds of signs. Now, we were moving to Shreveport to get away from Dallas because they wouldn't stop stalking me and my family. Do y'all remember? We remember. This all happened Tell in us. front of your eyes. That truck that I had to work so hard to get because I was being gaslit by King World 2020 and the Bean team while they were moving my stuff out. I was supposed to have gotten the truck, but my pocketbook was buried all the way at the bottom where my wallet was. So we had to spend three hours in the heat looking for it just so I could go rent the truck. That truck contained everything me and my family owned, including the urn that has the majority of my firstborn son's cremation's ashes in it. If anybody wants that truck, it's me. And yet when I called Penske last July, to ask them where the truck was. They said it was still in Louisiana and they would contact me on H. Tony's phone because that was the only phone I had at the time and let me know when the truck made it back to Texas so I could claim or purchase my belongings. The phone call never came. I lost custody of that truck the second that I was arrested and put in jail. The second that that truck was confiscated by a Louisiana state agency, it was no longer in my control. If anyone is responsible for producing the truck, it would be the state of Louisiana. I was in jail facing charges and extradition from Dallas County, Texas. Where's the larceny? You know, I asked about eight different officers that same question when they read me my charges. After they had arraignment at 2 a.m. in the morning while I was asleep on my face, full slar face, fucking drool, and I hear, do you understand your rights? <laughs> I was asleep. They did my arraignment while I was asleep. That fuck 
fucking tranny, Kathleen Sprinkle. You did me the last time, bitch, and you ran from me. And I know why. Because you a demon and you see God in me and you can't be in the same room with me at the same time. Fucking tranny. Fucking Dallas County. Who fucking knew? Steers and queers. The shit was real. Pedo DAs, allegedly. Oh, shit. And tranny magistrates with last names named Sprinkle. Confetti. Cupcake shit. I don't know. <sighs> Jack, with thank that, God for the maps. Th- thank God for the maps. Uh, it's crazy. Like real life street stars <laughs> keeping Dallas alive. Right, like, shit, because you know we're trying to watch the finals, Jack, and like Jack is incarcerated while the finals is going on. This I'm is out, and they gonna win. <laughs> 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 hey. right. So, yo, shout out to Kyrie Irving. You gotta meet me and Tony. We gotta have that that old fashioned over rhythm. Cafe Pacific. Got to. I, you guys got to come. Got, no, no, we have to. Yeah. Shout out Cafe Pacific, too. We have to. We have to. So, Jack, um, and again, outside of legal woes, because, again, we're trying to, you know, whatever, whatever with yeah. that. Um, as you were in there, um, were you worried about doing another 90, doing another stint? Like, no. is that a concern? Okay. I don't ever worry about going into jail. Okay. I live by the old way. You only do two days. The day you go in and the day you go out, everything else is whatever. And it's whatever you make of it. I don't think about time in jail. I don't do time. I use my time. There you go. Which is why I call it Sean Davey Way. And to create a little disinformation and a little real information at the same time. Upon calling Sean Davey Way, you know, we already had did an interview prior to even the Gene deal. And we're like, hey, let's put this interview going. Let's put it out. Because we, we heard your interview with Sean Davey Way. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if Jag is in the know of what's going on and let's go and put it because we're like let's hold off on putting the interview out because let's let's get her out but once we heard the Sean David we said okay she's in the algorithm still and that she's, was a bird call yeah she's looking to be in the algorithm because I'm hearing the conversation like alright what's going on and, and I yeah. straight pandered I was pandering like a bitch you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but you know, it takes a, a really smart individual who understands how algorithms and the internet works to know that the best ally you have in a bad situation is your op. There you go. With that being said. They're not gonna let me get in touch with anybody I like. <laughs> but they'll let somebody that I don't like squeeze through so they can do their disinformation. And because I know how badly they need Jag content. I feed them. I call it feeding a fish. And while I feed them a little bit of this, I feed them a little bit of that. 